Thank you very much. Today I want to talk to you about some exciting new discoveries in the field of palindromics that will bring joy to you and your family. Scientific discoveries that have unlocked the ancient secrets of the power of palindromes and that we can harness to build new insanely great products. Some of you are asking, what is palindromics, Mark? Simply put, it is the study of palindromes. Palindromes, words or sentences that are the same backwards and forwards, as in this example. An igloo? Cool, Gina. We can see that the words run right back. I was very lucky to study at the University of Minnesota with the great Professor John Conant and his invaluable assistants. Professor Conant is the one who discovered an amazing fact, that the word is actually a form of matter a small massless particle, smaller somewhat than the quark, but with potential energy equivalent potentially to 57 protons. It turns out that when the ancients in their ignorance spoke of magic words, they were referring to the most powerful of these words and their spells were simply sentences of the most power. Professor Conant was the one who first defined this energy, who developed the tools to measure it, and who started to put together new powerful combinations of palindromic power. I myself was very honored to work on the project that developed his first. Eva, can I stack Rod's sad ass dork cats in a cave? Surprisingly, the answer is yes. <laughs> Dr. Conant's groundbreaking work was invaluable and we all owe him a great debt, but many of us in the lab wanted more. His work was primarily of academic value. We wanted to go out into the world and combine the power of palindromics, science, and genetics in a new venture where we have created a startup company called Cynogenics. We are producing commercial products using the power of palindromics. Now, people often ask me, Mark, how can I get involved? That sounds fantastic. Well, at the moment, we are fully staffed and fully funded. But in two years, you will have an opportunity to take an ownership stake in this company and buy a piece of history when we take this puppy public. Let's talk a bit about the history of palindromes because as brilliant as he was, Professor Conant was not the first person to realize the power of these words. Their power has been known for centuries, even millennium, by shamans, priests, and sorcerers. The very words spoken to Moses from the burning bush when he asked, what is your name? And God replied in a word unit palindrome in Hebrew, ah ye, asher, ah ye. Sadly, we've lost the palindromic power of this utterance in the poor translation of the King James Bible. But it becomes clear when we see a proper palindromic translation. Dogma, I am God. <laughs> now, I admit this is a bit controversial. There are some fundamentalist scholars who interpret this slightly differently. Dog sex, even if fine, vexes God. But whichever way you interpret it, clearly it is the word of the Lord. <laughs> In post-Roman times, the most powerful cleric was St. Martin of Tours, who wielded palindromic spells with such force that he raised three men from the dead and was able to command the devil to carry him around like he was riding a horse, using this palindrome, signa te signa. Temere me tangus ed angus, Roma tibi subitu motibus ibit amor. Or, it turns out when we translate into English that he was complaining about a nun at his church who never smiled. <laughs> but it, such is the power of palindromes. 
that these mere words allowed him to command the father of lies to carry him where he will. Now, we enter a problematic period in palindromic history because Eve's, as impressive as it was that St. Martin used these words to command the devil, church leaders got very worried. If they had power over the devil, perhaps they were themselves infernal. Perhaps we were dealing with dark arts that would drag us all into the abyss. So the church began to suppress palindromes. And they fell into the purview of the sorcerers and the warlocks and the witches writing backward spells in flames, flaming letters on parchments made of human skin. Scientists in the modern era, of course, have always dismissed it because we could not establish scientifically the basis of their power. So in the modern era, the only people who have fully appreciated the power of palindromes were heavy metal bands. <laughs> Notably Black Sabbath on their classic 1982 album, Live Evil. And going up 10 years later with Soundgarden and Satan oscillate my metallic sonatas. <laughs> the indispensable EP that came with that. <laughs> Luckily today we have a scientific basis and we can move into the modern era. And I want to remind you, Dr. Conant's discovery was that words have certain amounts of power. And his measurements established that palindromes invariably have the highest ratings of power of all the words we know. This is why the ancients use them for their spells and curses. Why would this be? Well, an obvious answer might be because a palindrome goes backwards and forwards, it may have double the power of a normal sentence. And that makes sense. But when we do the actual <laughs> measurements, we find that this does not account for the massive powers of the palindrome. In this example, we ran a study on two very similar sentences. The forward-only sentence had 1.4 million electron volts of power. But Snub Dumbo Bob Mud Buns <laughs> clocked in at nearly 20 million electron volts, 15 times the amount. So the mere doubling cannot account for this difference. What does? We have found two scientific theories. One is the gravitational slingshot theory. Some of you may remember when NASA wanted to send a probe to the farthest reaches of the solar system past Neptune and Pluto. They didn't merely put in a big engine. They sent the rocket very near a large planet like Jupiter, where on a near miss, the gravitational force would hook the satellite and catapult it very rapidly into outer space. It turns out that every palindrome does this naturally. <laughs> a standard sentence ends at the period at the end. But a palindrome, because it turns around and goes back, hooks around the period, represented here by the red dot, and accelerates back to the beginning. But this is only half of the power. The more impressive uh, source of this power is the energy wave alignment. You'll recall that each of these words has power. And in a sentence, of course, the waves from each word will tend to overlap each other, conflict, and dissipate that energy. But in the symmetry of a palindrome, these waves align and magnify each other in a process we call resonance. And this causes them to rise to very dramatic levels. Uh, some of you have seen this footage of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge <laughs> up, by, uh, up by Seattle and Tacoma. A perfect example. They built the bridge symmetrically because they thought it looked pretty, but that set the recipe for disaster. On the fateful night of November 7th, 1940, a wind blew across the bluffs, creating a sound a bit like a ghost going, ooh, like that. Well, it turns out that ooh is a perfect palindrome. <laughs> the massive energy of this force... Oh, uh, how do we... Do you have a way to trigger that? We need to click on the movie in the middle? Oh, it was so good on my... Uh, I mean, oh, well. You've probably seen the video that... It went, Make you go. No? <laughs> yeah, really. It goes like this. <laughs> and you can see the mighty wave energy rippling the steel and concrete until it collapses and blows up. Thank you very much for that suggestion. 
now. Oh my God, I feel the force coming in right there. Now, what at Cynogenics are we doing with the mighty power of palindromes? We wanted to capture that force and use it for commercial applications. The first application I'm going to tell you about is something I worked on as an undergraduate, just experimenting this somewhat recklessly. I wrote a music review of the rock band Motley Crue and dropped a palindrome into it just to see what would happen. Oh, Nikki Six is icky, no? <laughs> Mind you, this was in 1992 at the height of their career. Within one month, Vince Neil quit the band and their career dissipated. Today, where are they? They're playing Las Vegas. The second application is actually the first project we did after forming Cynogenics in 2002. It was a public service program for the Department of Health and Human Services. You'll remember 10 years ago, methamphetamine addiction was a scourge all across America, quite a problem. So we, using some of our proprietary techniques, wrote a rather more elaborate and powerful palindrome. Deep snuff. Oh, Margaret, fast? Ah, no. Sexy? No. Di put stupid onyxes on hats after a gram of fun speed. <laughs> you can look up the statistics if you like. From the day we released this palindrome, methamphetamine use has dropped 76% everywhere in America, except Gresham. <laughs> Most of the work we do at Cynogenics, I cannot actually reveal the nature of. We're doing a great deal of work weaponizing palindromes for the Defense Department. <laughs> Working with DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Administration. I don't know if you've heard of them. They've invented things like the internet. And I don't know, Dianu, what do you want? They invented the internet. Anyway, I can't reveal too much about our work with them. So I will tell you one spin-off of our malicious work in political ads. Now, this was actually before Cynogenics was formed back in 1996. Older people in the room may remember that President Bill Clinton faced a very difficult re-election campaign against a dashing and charismatic young war hero named Bob Dole. Frankly, it looked like there was no hope of re-election. All of the pundits were calling it as a landslide for Dole. In desperation, the Clinton administration came to us in the laboratory. We were still unsure about the technology, but we worked out a couple of malicious targeted palindromes. The first one, we were a little tentative because we weren't sure how this was going to work out. Liar emits a snaky Dole melody. Kansas time. Rail. <laughs> Despite the archaic word at the end, it focused grouped pretty well, and so we went for the kill with a much tougher palindrome. Derail sad dole, crap parcel, odd as liar ed. <laughs> In the space of two short months, that young, dashing, charismatic war hero was crushed and ended up looking like a sad, tired old man. <laughs> Just to recap, before and after. <laughs> Frankly, I feel a little bad about this. We haven't taken on political clients client since. He is, after all, a person, and it's awful to look at. <laughs> In summary, note the power of palindromics. Weaponry, which I couldn't tell you about. Political ads, drug education. We have a couple other interesting projects that look like they have a pretty good chance of bringing world peace and curing cancer, but we haven't figured out a way to make any money off of that, so they're kind of back burner at the moment. <laughs> anyway, please join us. Go to our website, Cynogenics.com, buy our products, and in two years, buy a piece of history and an ownership stake in our company. Thank you very much. Good night.